All right. Before you ask, yes, I am still very uh, in the sads right now, but I don't care because today is a very, very important day. It's one that I've been looking forward to. It's I'm really, really excited. No one's ever done it before, but I'm going to be the first. I'm going to be the first one to do it. I'm going to be the first one to rank Mario's ass. Do the Mario! But we're going to start off a little weird. We're going to start off with Popeye. Wing your arms from side to side. Now you're probably thinking, Jonah, this isn't Mario. Why did you include Popeye on a Mario's ass tier list? Uh, originally, the origin for Mario was that Shigeru Miyamoto wanted to make a Popeye game, but... You know, instead, he couldn't he couldn't really do that because of licensing fees and stuff like that. So, what he ended up doing instead was he made equivalents to those in, of these characters. So, Popeye obviously became Mario, and Pluto became uh, Donkey Kong. Uh, you know, you get it. So, I feel like it'd be a little unfair if we didn't include Popeye on this list. Uh, but, you know, it's not doing much for me. I mean, obviously he's got something. That's that's an ass right there. That's an ass if I've ever seen one. But, I mean, it's just... Uh, compared to everything else on Popeye's body, it's just that's obviously not the focus, you know? The focus is, like, the big muscular arms, of, like, the accentuated mouth, you know, like the big... You know, like the big legs, not the ass. The ass is not the focus. So he's got something, but it's just... It's just... It's not doing much for me. So I'm gonna have to give it, like, probably... Mm, probably a C. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario! Next up, we got the one that started it all, and that's Donkey Kong. Man, uh, Mario's got one fuck of an ass in this game, dude. Obviously, it's, like, pixelated, because, you know, it's on the NES, but... I mean, still, he's got a pair of pancakes, man. Those are... That's a good ass right there. And, I mean, this is the ass that started it all, so I'm just gonna have to give this one an S right out the gate. I'm, I'm just saying, guys, this is, like, peak ass right there. I'm just saying. Take one step, and then again... Uh, next up, we have Mario Bros. And, man, this one's just underwhelming. For Mario's, like, first standalone game... This one is just stupid. Look at this. this. You can't even see that shit. Like, Mario's ass isn't even visible in the game. Like, not, I know it's a 2D game. It's like side profile. So you can't there, you can't really see Mario's ass if you wanted to. But that's not an excuse. Look at Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong obviously had Mario's ass here. And that's like an iconic ass right there. This has nothing. This is stupid. This makes me sad. You know what? This one, I'm gonna have to give this one an E tier because that that's just stupid. I don't like this one. Let's do the Mario all together now. Next up, we have the game that started it all. A uh, second, kind of. Again, it, it started again. You know what? Mario kind of has some going there. I mean, it's not. Stop barking! Shut up! I don't care! Mario kind of has an ass going on here, you know? I mean, obviously, it's like, it's not that good. It's, you know, this is the only view of his ass that we get throughout the entire game. But, you know, it's it's, it's got like a curve. You know, it's not really sticking out, but it's kind of got like a curve. You know, at least it has something compared to fucking Mario Bros over here. This is the reason why it's called Super Mario Bros, you know? this Because he has an ass. So it's not much, but at least he has one. This one deserves better than this one. This is the D tier. You got it! Alright, next up we have Super Mario Bros. 2. And this one, we actually do get a front profile of Mario's ass here. This is a good ass. You know, I mean, compared to the other ones that we've seen, I think, like, you know, like, this is, like, one that we got a side profile going on. I mean, obviously it's not as good as Mario's ass here, but this is a good ass. I think this is, like, a runner-up. I think this one's a respectable D. Right there. There we go. It's the Mario! Alright, Super Mario Bros. 3 is a weird one because this one introduces the Tanuki, like the little Tanuki tail, which is in Mario's ass. So you think that they put much more emphasis on Mario's ass in this game, but no, it's just kind of stuck on there, you know? And I think that's a little underwhelming. I, I think that's a little sad. They should have done Mario's ass in this game a lot better service you know it, it's, it's just kind of sad and depresses me but you know I, at least they're giving it some attention so i'm gonna give it a c because you know at least they tried do the mario super mario world on the other hand 
Man, this one just blows my mind, dude. This is the first one that went into 16-bit, you know, and it clearly shows. They put a lot of detail into Mario's ass. Like, even going down to, like, the fucking pockets on his ass. Dude, that's so cool. Probably my favorite ass. I'd actually say this is a little better. I say it's a little better than the Donkey Kong one. You're getting demoted. So, yeah, Mario's ass from Super Mario World gets an S tier. That is a deserved S tier right there. Wing your arms from side to side. Super Mario Land is also an important one because this is the first ass on the go. You know, like, this is the one that they were starting to really develop ass technology. You can see something, like kind of like Mario Bros. You can actually see a little something here, which is really impressive for a Game Boy. Not even Mario Bros. could give him an ass, but they were just able to put that one on a Game Boy, dude. That's so impressive. I mean, okay, it's not a good ass. I don't, I don't think, like, there are obviously better asses in Mario games, but, you know, it's a runner-up. I think that one is an important ass in video game history. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Oh, okay, fuck. Okay, shit. Fucking. <laughs> uh, okay, just get a fucking. You get a C. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. All right, Super Mario Land 2 just pisses me off, though, because there. I don't think there's a fucking side profile of Mario's ass here, not even when he's standing. And that just makes me really mad because at least Mario Land over here actually gave him a chance to give him an ass. You're just going backwards now. Like, even on the cover, it shows more of a priority of Mario's dick than his ass, you know? That's just kind of... That just makes me really mad. Like, they're literally going backwards this one, and this is why this one gets a fucking E. F fuck you, Mario Land 2. Take one step, and then again- Alright, now Super Mario All-Stars is an interesting one, because, you know, it, they made new art for, for Mario in this game, so, like, for better 16-bit, you know, resolution. But they, they're just, like, hiding his ass. Clearly, it's like, there's a shape here, you know? There's a shape. But it's, like, hidden behind Mario's fist. It makes me kind of mad. Even Peach is like, you know, just like staring at it. He's like, damn, Mario. Where is Mario's ass? Come on, Nintendo, release the ass cut. This one just pisses me off because clearly there's hidden potential here. But it's just, I don't know, man. This one's a D for me. Let's do the Mario all together now. This one's kind of a forgotten gem. I actually like this game quite a lot, you know? And it's kind of a shame that it was released on the Virtual Boy, you know? It, it's it's a little sad. This ass is a hidden gem, you know? Because one, you get like a front profile of Mario's ass. That is bold. That is a brave ass pick. I mean, although you can't really see much. Okay, let's be real. This is not a very good ass pick. You know, it's like red and black. I mean, that that's nothing. But at the same time, it's just like the confidence that it gives off, you know? This is like... Mario's ass is here, and he's not afraid to show it. That's that's something that is really admirable for me. That, it's kind of like Mario Bros. 2 for me, you know? I mean, it's not that visible, but it's the confidence that impresses me. This is a beat. Just like that! Alright, this is another one that just blows my fucking mind. This is where, you know, this was the first ass in 3D. That is really impressive. Like, this is the first Mario ass in 3D, specifically. And damn, does it look good. I mean, look at this ass. When he's like, I, I wish I had a crouching picture, picture on me right now. Cause like, when he's like, popping his ass out, dude, that's impressive. That is impressive ass technology right there. And look at the curves and everything, man. That's, that's a great ass. I think that is just giving off S energy right there. That is a fucking S. Even more than Mario World right there. I think we're gonna put you above. Mario's ass in this game is on, like, unbeaten so far. This is, like, the best Mario ass technology. Wing your arms from side to side. Alright, well, we have to talk about Mario Sunshine because... I have mixed feelings on this one, man. So, let's just rate Mario's ass, you know, as it is, right here. Like, this is a good picture of Mario's ass. Like, it's actually visible here, you know? And that's a good ass! This is like the first ass in high definition, you know? This is a great, great ass. But, you know, there's an issue. There's an issue with it, and I'm gonna bring up this picture. 
I want you guys at home to take a look at this picture and see what's wrong with it. I'll give you some time. All right, you got it yet? Okay, yeah, it's this fucking thing. Flood is like the one thing that is holding me back. You know, this just pisses me off. Flood's just blocking it in clear display. It just makes me mad. We could have had so much ass in this game, but you guess who's blocking it? It's fucking Flood. And that's a shame because it's a really good ass in general. So like, I can't exactly like demote it, but I can't really put it up up top of the big boys here. So I'm just gonna have to give it a C. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. All right, Super Mario 64 DS. This is the one where like they cemented Mario's new design. And you know what? It's a good ass. I, I'm not gonna say it's as good as Nintendo 64 ass, but it's pretty all right. I think the one thing that's not doing it for me is that, you know, Mario's ass in this picture pops out a lot more, you know? So it's like, it's more visible. It's a more visible ass. But the thing with this ass, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like buried in the back. I mean, still good ass, but it's just, it's not doing much for me. But I mean, who am I fucking kidding? This is like still a good ass, you know? It's still great ass. It's based off the best ass. So I'm going to put this in A tier. This is an A tier ass right here. Take one step and then again. Now, New Super Mario Bros. like cemented something. You know, this is like the return of 2D Mario. You know, this is like a big moment. And especially a big moment for his ass. Because like, look at that thing. That's awesome. It's like looking at the pictures that, you know, like, like the little promotional material here they obviously put like an emphasis on his ass this is a great ass right here obviously the issue is that you know it's on a ds screen and mario's gonna be shrinking down so you can't really see his ass that well but it's still a good ass man i mean look at it this is an iconic iconic ass and i love it a lot and that's why i'm giving it an a let's do the mario all together now all right i'm gonna be real with y'all super mario galaxy is my favorite mario game ever it's just a fucking masterpiece, dude. I'm, I'm not even, you know, like, playing this up for, like, video. I'm serious. This is a masterpiece of the video game. It's just such an iconic video game. And it, it genuinely makes me emotional. I have a lot of, you know, I have a lot of respect for this game. This is, like, the first 3D Mario that I've ever played. So, I mean, I think regardless of, you know, like what I think of Mario's ass, I think it's going to get an S already. <laughs> You know, when you look at Mario's ass here, this is an amazing ass. This is probably one of the best asses. I'd actually go out and say this is a little better than Mario's right here in Super Mario 64. I mean, obviously, uh, this isn't the first one to be in HD. I mean, Super Mario Sunshine here was also in HD. This is, like, probably one of the best ones in HD because, like, you know, they're not afraid to show it. This is Mario's ass. I hate to, I hate to change shit up again, but... God damn it, this one is probably the best ass of all time. I love this ass. You got it! And now we got Super Mario Brothers Wii. Or new Super Mario Brothers Wii, my bad. And they really doubled down on Mario's ass in this game because man, it just looks really good. Like when you crouch, like he'll actually like it'll like pop out his ass, you know? Like it's like it makes it a lot more visible. This is a great ass in this game. I mean obviously it's not going to be as good as, I don't know, like, fucking Mario Galaxy. But this is a solid HD ass, and I'm going to give this one another S. It's the Mario! Super Mario 3D Land, man. I love this game. I actually, I'm, I'm playing this game right now. I'm about to complete it. Like, it's, it's fun. And one thing that I've noticed is that they just put a lot of detail in Mario's ass. I don't know why and what compelled them to do it, but I thank them. Like, when you, like, when you squat in this game, like, Mario does, like, a little pop, and, you know, kind of like a, like a weird little squish, and it's just, like, it kind of shows off his ass, and it's great. It's a great, great design. I think that this is an amazing ass, and, ah, oh, shit, I gotta make room. And this one, right here, is another S, man. This is, like, truly peak ass design, man. <laughs> Mario. All right, now we got a uh, new Super Mario Bros. U. And this one, I don't like as much. I mean, it's a great ass, you know? I think it's good. But all they really did was just copy Mario's design from, you know, new Super Mario Bros. Wii. And they just put it here, you know? It just, 
I wish they'd innovate, is what I'm saying. It's it's still a good ass, but I, I got a docket one just for not really adding on to it. So, I mean, it's a respectable A, but it, it's not doing too much. Swing your arms from side to side. Now, New Super Mario Bros. 2 makes me a little sad, I'm not gonna lie. What they did to Mario's ass in this game is just kind of weird, you know? You know, it's still Super, Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's a, it's a great ass but they're doing this weird thing where like they're they're hiding it again like they did in the first game you know it's it's weird this is a great game obviously but eh, it's an it's an okay ass i'm i'm gonna give it a c come on it's time to go do the mario all right now we're at super mario 3d world i mean you'd think that i'd give this one a pretty high score but honestly this one's just not really doing anything for me I mean, something about Mario's ass in this game's just kind of been, you know, morphed into the body, and that's that's a little sad. They don't really got anything for his ass in this game, not even, like, when you squat, you know, compared to his predecessor, Super Mario 3D Land, where, like, they weren't afraid to show his ass. So I'm gonna have to put this one in a D. It's just, it's not doing much for me. Take one step, and then again... Alright, let's talk about Super Mario Run, man. So, obviously, this game... Uh, got a lot of flack, you know. I mean, it, it had its it had its praise, but eventually just sort of died out. And no one really cared about it. But one thing that people are kind of sleeping on is that they brought back Mario's ass. Check it out. They had this weird era from this game to this game where like they were just like kind of hiding Mario's ass for some reason, or they were just like reducing his ass. And with Mario Run, they just completely brought back his ass. That is a wonderful, wonderful ass. And you know, it's on an Apple screen, so, you know, obviously it's really high resolution ass as well. This is probably the best ass that we've had in a while, so I'm gonna give this one an A. Let's do the Mario all together now! What the fuck is this? They're doing the thing again! We're like, they're, they're removing, kind of, they're kind of like removing the impact of Mario's ass. Okay, obviously, it's... You know, it's got a bump. You know, it's slight, but it's got a bump. You can see it. But is really, is that all it takes for it to count? You know, it's, it's fucking Mario's ass. Show it. And it's a shame, too. Because, like, hidden under this disappointing ass is the possibility that it could have had. I mean, it has, this is like the first Mario game to have, like, several costumes. And it could have shown his ass. Or, I mean, like, it could have shown, like, all the different variety of ass that Mario could have had. I could have given this an S tier. This could have been better than Mario Galaxy. But overall, it's just, it's a disappointing ass. And it makes me really sad. So I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a D. I'm gonna give it a D. It just, it's not doing much for me. Oh. Come on now! Okay, so this one technically doesn't count. Because the game hasn't come out yet but I'm going to rank it anyways. Mario's ass is back. Look at this. They actually have it like pop out and everything. This is a frontal view, but you can still see his ass. This is how you do an ass in 2D. And the game hasn't even like come out yet. So there's like tons of potential for this ass to expand and grow. So because the game hasn't come out, yeah, I can't give it like a perfect ass. I, this, there's a potential that this ass could absolutely suck, but you know what? This is runner up there. I'm gonna give it an A. Just like that. And there we have it, guys. This is Mario's ass tier list. I am really proud of how this turned out. We've gone through some ups and downs of Mario's career and Mario's asses, but wow. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey of going through all of Mario's asses in every single game. Cause I, I didn't, I didn't like this game. If you guys want to see more like this, uh, too bad, because I'm, I'm not going to make any more tier list videos, but uh, you can watch this one again, so, you know, there's that. Anyways, thank you guys again for, uh, you know, sticking with me through this weird time. I know I've been quite inactive. It's just, it just means a lot that you guys are hanging out with me, you know, and just watching, watching my content, and I appreciate it. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a Twitter account now, if you guys want to go and check that out. Uh, I post some really insightful things. Who knows, you might want to put one of those tweets on your gravestone one day, man. It's, it's very insightful. Okay, anyways, bye.